All right, so we're going to use my new recording setup and we're going to crack this pack of Magic 30th, which has real Magic 30 cards. <laughs> Not like these ones that got destroyed earlier. All right, so let's take it off screen. Let's take it off screen for a second. Faked. Faked, especially since you know that I have those fakes even more so, right? So now everything is suspect. It's everything is fake. It's, oh, come on, man. Okay, so there's a... Oh my god! Guys, we did it! We hit the jackpot, bro! That's like $4,000! This is a, like a beta time twister! I don't know why Wizards quality, admittedly, isn't really up to snuff. I will be real about that. I will be real about that. The cards are coming out of the pack pretty rough these days. But legit, like a time twister? Bro, this is the biggest hit that I have had so far. This is crazy. Like, that's wild. That's wild. So let's, that's a, that's a weird order of the pack though. Normally the rare is at the back, right? So that's strange. That's strange. Hmm. Anyways, anyways, let's look at the actual magic cards and not that fake time twister. Here's how you know the fake ones, guys. T the easiest way to tell you've got fake magic 30 is to rip it in half. And then look inside. And if it looks like a little chocolate bar in the middle like that, then you've got a delicious fake. So, wait. That, oh, is that blue? No, it's real. It's real. Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay. So, these are actual real cards. That time twister was not. All right. Who knows? Maybe there's more fakes in here. You can't believe anything on the internet. Check it out. I drew this entire guy on the subway in 30 seconds. Nobody can draw that fast. You're a liar. You're a liar. It's all fake. Everything is fake. Nobody gets stuck in washing machines. That doesn't happen, lady. Sorry, mom. Why are you saying that your arms are stuck in the washing machine? I can see from the camera angle both your arms are loose. You took them out. You took them out of the dryer. What are you doing? Oh, wait. Washing machine. I'm not even keeping consistency. All right, all right, so this card has been living up to its name because it's been basically invisible to me so far as I've been ranting about other crap. I love invisibility, like, as a concept. This is a really cool card where it's like two blue enchant creature, enchanted creature can't be blocked except by wall. So the idea is that you're invisible and it's like nobody can see you, you can just sneak by them. But walls don't matter because they just extend wherever. So you just walk up and you're like, hmm, this sucks. I mean, ultimately... It's a jank card. I always thought the artwork wasn't very good. I never liked, um, I never liked the uh, oh, artwork overall for it. I found it to be kind of ant. The guy does look invisible, but. Mm. All right. Oh, circle protection red. Check it out, yo. If you want to protect yourself from fire magic, lady, you got to take your shirt off. I don't know what mage taught you this, but it's like, yo, circle of protection reds get really hot. So the first thing we're going to need to do is see your, t I mean, take our shirts off, right? Right? Florida knows what's up. He showed up just in time to hear that. What's up, Florida? You missed it. We already cracked the rare, bro. It was a time twister. You're late. You're late to the stream, son. All right, Circle Red, I remember. You guys heard me talk about in the previous videos how Circle Reds, all the circles, were this whole big thing. Yeah, protection from stone rain. Exactly, Clayton. Shirtless protection. Oh, hey, a sinkhole. That's where you like to give it to him. Yo, I'm going to give it to you in your sinkhole next game, bro. Bam, sinkhole. Two black sorcery. Destroy target land. That is is insane at common. Think about that. Stone Rain was already brutal at one red and two to destroy target land. Sinkhole for two mana in the same color that had Dark Ritual. So it could just be like, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Dark Ritual. I'm gonna have two lands out, I'll Dark Ritual, and I'm gonna Sinkhole you and him to Turok you. It's like, what? Yeah, I went first, so I go Swamp, you go, you lay a land, I'll play another Swamp, Tap one, Dark Ritual, I got four black, I'll play Sinkhole, smoke your first land, hit your hand with the Hymn to Turok for two randoms, hoping to hit a land or two. Just crippling, bro. Just crippling. Ah. 
this is, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? The land's getting destroyed. Sinkhole was crazy. Like, when I started, this was already out of print. They were like, no, this shouldn't be a common in the set. We got to get rid of it. Oh, the pack is kicking out good commons today. Look at that. We got a lightning bolt as well. Lightning bolt is straight up iconic level magic, bro. One red to do three damage to any target, right? That's straight up solid. The artwork is what it's supposed to be. Overall, lightning bolt is just good times. It's good times. Oh, the war mammoth. I didn't think mammoths could ever hold a candle to a well-trained battle horse. Then one day I turned my back on a drunken soldier. His blow never landed. Micha flung the brute over 10 meters. Yeah, man. I always thought war mammoths were really cool. I always thought they were really cool, bro. 100%. 100%. Fire breathing. I remember using this on kobolds, bro. Put it a 0-1 kobold on the first turn. Slap, because he costs zero. Slap this on it, and now it's like, get ready to get pumped. Uh, uh. You better hope I don't get my drill sergeant to give him toughness and trample boosting, because I couldn't get the taskmaster. <laughs> I couldn't get taskmasters or the overlord. I never got to live the dream of building a kobold deck, but they always seemed really cool. Fire breathing. Hey, terror. Originally, the artwork was actually supposed to be, I think, oriented like this, right? Something like that, but then they screwed up and put it in, put it in wrong. The guy's supposed to be down in the corner. I think it's more evocative where it's like he's almost leapt up into the air and he's cr like, it's crazy. Oh, speaking of terror, you guys, we're working on a lore video right now for Fantasy Geographic. And it actually is old, old, old school magic lore where we're looking at a story from the perspective of being regular everyday folk and dealing with planeswalkers. And there's a literal planeswalker that shows up, takes control of a creature, and then that creature ends up getting terrored to death. Like for real. It's so cool. It's so cool. Speaking of proxies, a beta proxy for my cube, bro. 100%. Celestial Prism. Are we, are we into the uncommons already? Oh, yeah, they do things weird. That's right. There's going to be three lands in this pack. All right, Celestial Prism. I can't believe I played with this card, but I did. Three mana, it, two and tap, add a mana of any color. Mana fixing in the old days, this was it. That was it. That was the only mana fixer in the original set. Pretty nutty. Pretty nutty. The artwork's not very good. It looks like crap. This version looks bad, uh, not better. This version looks worse. The original version, like it's the same artwork, but it just looks better on the original card rather than with this new modern artifact border. You know what I mean? That's that's the overall vibe for me on that one. So it's it's interesting to see this nostalgic stuff, but in a weird modern version. Wall of Brambles! This thing is way more obnoxious than you would ever imagine. One green and two for a two, three but it regenerates for one green. Regeneration is a really strong ability. So you can just keep popping this wall back to life, back to life, back to life, just regrow it. I love that concept, right? A nature mage summons up this thick wall of brambles. And that's why it's only got three toughness because it's not a gigantic wall of stone, but it's got two power because look at the thorns on it. They're massive, bro. If you've ever thorned yourself on a rose, you know how brutal that crap is. So this is amazing in that regard. You can have an enemy come in and they just send like a beast and tearing through it. But then you just, bam, flow nature magic into it. And it just reweaves itself instantly back. Oh, so awesome. Oh, castle, bro. This card's, oh, oh turn the light down. <laughs> this card's great. I mean, not from like today's power standard or whatever, but this thing's cool. One white and three for an enchantment that gives untapped creatures you control plus zero plus two. It used to not count attacking creatures. So if you had an attacking creature with vigilance, then uh, it wouldn't get the toughness bonus. So this is actually a functionally changed version. It is a pretty straightforward idea. It's, it's just a castle. You're right, Bo. It's not as good of, as Wall of Bears. And if you don't know what Wall of Bears is, go check out my Twitter and you can see it. That's where it's posted. All right. What do we got after this? Oh, 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 it hurts. It hurts. Oh, oh, it doesn't get much. This is one of the 
worst rares in the set. It's not it's not lace level rare worse, but man, man, living lands. <laughs> this card's awful. One green and three. All forests are one one creatures that are lands, uh, that are still lands. So. This is just begging to have all your lands wiped out. You put this out, you're just begging to lose all your lands. It's the same with um, with Cormus Bell. Whenever anybody played Cormus Bell, I was like, you're an idiot. I'm about to kill all your lands, bro. Thank you. Thank you. These cards just say, make all your lands incredibly fragile and screw up your mana base 100%. Also, all your lands now have summoning sickness. Awful. 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 Like, for real. For real. Yeah, one point pestilence would totally do it. Or like a wrath of God. Now, boom, all your lands are gone. That's brutal. That's brutal. Archer, yeah, bro. The old school way of doing magic was way more intense. They were living beings that you forced into battle. It's horrific. It's gritty. It's dark. It's compelling and way cooler. Way cooler. All right, so... <laughs> living lands, man. Living lands. This is this product is. I can't believe they did this with the random boosters, man. Oh, look at that artwork though. The artwork is pretty amazing, isn't it? Like, look at. Uh, hold on, let me get a little bit. Let's let's get get a close up. Look at that guy. Look at this little moss goober, right? Like, hey, I suck. Give me a hug, bro. You want to go listen to some Slayer together or something, man? Maybe Megadeth. What do you want to do? <laughs> All right, now we move on to the three lands. Three lands. Zircon, no, nobody nobody splashed green to use it against green deck. Green decks were the weakest decks in Magic back in the day. Like playing against a green deck was like a gimme win pretty much. Like when I was playing my uh when I was playing my blue white control deck and somebody laid a forest first, I was like, oh, <laughs> "You're going to lose. You're going to lose." Right? The only the only thing you can do after playing a first turn forest for me not to think you're gonna lose is play a birds of paradise. Cause that signals to me, oh you have other colors that can win in here. Cause yeah, green was the worst. Green was the worst to the point where you didn't worry about it because green would handle itself in suckitude. Like you, you don't even need to bother. Speaking of suckitude, bro, the fact that they put three basic lands in here is jank on another level. So you got the swamp here, the stick swamp. Then we've got, well, at least the, I like some of the forests. They look kind of okay. This one's got the little dude hiding in the hole, the little hidey hole. So that's all right. Um, and then old school mountain. Eh, eh. The mountain artwork's okay. You know, you got the trees in the front. You got the snow up on the top of the mountains. That part's kind of cool, whatever. But ultimately, the a lot of the original lands for Magic left left a lot to be desired, right? They were not... Like, super compelling. And this falls into that category. Now, there remains one final card. That is the old bordered card. It could be anything in the set. And this is where the... the this is the last bit of excitement that remains in the pack. So, what do we got? Dun, 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 Wait, is there two things left? Oh, it's the token afterwards. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! 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 Uh, uh. Clockwork Beast. Take the L out of his name, bro. Uh, uh. I played this card. I played this card back in the day in my green deck, bro. So six mana, zero four. Six mana for a zero four. Get this. Wait until you hear how this works and you'll understand the suckitude. And I played this. So... It comes into the battlefield with seven plus one plus zero counters on it. So when you actually play it, it's a seven four. At the end of combat, if it attacked or blocked, you remove a plus one plus zero counter from it. And you, you can pay X and tap it to put up to X plus one plus one plus one plus zero counters on it. Uh, but you can't go above the amount of counters that it came with. So essentially, here's how it works. It comes out as a seven four. Every time you attack or block with it, its power shrinks by one. You can tap it during your upkeep only and pay X to restore X counters up to the initial total. It is awful. Just awful. Look at it. Look at how crazy it is. Right? I, I, 
I do like it's it's awful from a power perspective, but I do like the clunky old magical construct vibe that it has. That part's cool. And then we've got a clue token. Oh, actually, you know what? The copper tablet does work as a clue token. That's kind of cool. I do like that. Does that mean did they put no copper tokens in the set? Copper tablets in the set too. That's a little bit weird, but whatever. Okay. All right. Well, that was a very very sad pack of Magic Thirty. That was. Uh, this is how. You get hosed the hardest, bro. Take the L out of his name, son. Take the L out of his name and put it up on my forehead. <laughs> well, that's all for that opening.